Proud lots. The Bible says that that um, grace is only given to the humble. I think it was in Second Timothy. Second Timothy. Yeah. Get it out sometime. Second Tim Timothy said that yeah, um, grace is only given to the humble. So if you're proud, you can't receive the grace of God as like even if you're born again, you just can't. And obviously, yeah, there's the born again grace. Now, this is the grace that transforms our lives. This is the force that transforms our lives into doing things that we don't even expect us to do. I like what Bishop Joe said. It's not a bishop, by the way, but Joe. I like what he said in terms of um, empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Grace is there to empower you. Grace is not just there for... I, I'm really surprised that no one said mercy when someone said grace here, when I was talking about grace. Many people see grace to be this just forgiving, just forgiveness. Just grace is just to forgive. Now I'm gonna to go to what's it called? Um, Second Corinthians six verse one. Second Corinthians six verse one. church okay so and this is the church that has received god am i right why was paul telling them to now not receive god's grace in vain it means that people are taking god's grace in vain am i right it means that people are tongue speaking they're bible bashing they're praying holy ghost fire you get me <laughs> all that kind of prayers and everything sorry if i just bust out some yoga right here it's just part of me, sorry. I will, I will translate it after. Yeah. But yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. They are receiving God's grace in vain. Now what does receiving God's grace in vain mean? Like I said, people just see grace to be, as, to be the big cover-up. Okay? If you sin, I can just come back to come back to his throne of grace. You know what? I don't, it doesn't matter. God's grace is there. Why? I used to see this, I used to do this myself a lot. I used to be, I took God's grace in vain for life, God. I used to live in Nigeria, yeah? I wasn't born there. I wasn't born there, I was raised here for a bit. Then I went to Nigeria. I was not not I never knew that. Okay? <laughs> 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 you can never tell. <laughs> but yeah, I was raised there at for like six, six, seven years. Yeah. So in classroom, like especially in secondary school, on my days, bro, like we're like how many in the class? We're like 40, 40 to fifty people in the class. Like I don't even know. I mean, is there forty to fifty people in class? Is it? So he's the maximum. No? <laughs> Lecture rooms, man. Flip. I'm talking about classroom. Yes. Like, bro, yes. 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 here, 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 and literally everyone has their own desk, and it's a big hole. It's not even a hole. It's, it's, it's rubbish, really. <laughs> but, yeah. but I used to believe that even if I don't study my books properly, you know what? God's grace. God, God knows that I won't study properly. You get me? God knows, and. You know what? Even if I do end up cheating in an exam, God is giving me that grace to do that. <laughs> because He knows I have not, I've not read my books, and God doesn't want me to fail, right? God doesn't want me to fail. He wants me to pass, so I'll do whatever it takes for me to pass the exam. I'll be coming out exam with ninety something percent, bro. You think I'm the done? But that's what we do. Different classes. The classes are here. It's so funny. Like, literally, we're like 40, 50 in a class, but the classrooms, that the different classrooms, so what separates us is like one big ass window. So one window, and like that. So everyone can see everyone in different classes. So we're doing the same exams as well. So I can see the other, I, I was next to the window, so I could see answers from the next class. So I could, <laughs> wow. I passed my exams, bro. I don't care. I'm 
Oh, um, I come in time, I didn't pass one exam, my mum beat the living. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it hurts to think about it sometimes, bro. The wire, bro. The wire behind the TV. Those guys are getting me that wire behind the TV. Mommy, please, mommy, please. But I'm not gonna go through that again. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to pass my exams. And I used to think it was God's grace. Now, isn't that me taking God's grace in vain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking God's grace to the to next level. I used to think that, you know what? Even though what I do is bad, I got, got to a point I knew that, okay, what I do is not, what I do now is bad, okay, and, but still, I, can, I knew that God's grace, you know, God can, can, can forgive me for all my sins, so I thought that, you know what, I'm going to do what I have to do, then come to God, I'm going to forgive me.